Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and this question from reddit That sounds quite easy, we got to eat it, uh, just move down here, the specific file I'm needing to modify is the first one listed gv1ww I need to move the screws holes upwards by 2mm, that's it, sounds super simple So, let's move over to fusion, I'm gonna kill this window and get over to the mesh, I have downloaded the file already, mesh we do an insert mesh, gv1ww, open, and we get this nice handle. Okay, it's not something simple prismatic, this is a quite organic shape. First of all, this is a personal reference, I turn on Viridian, see that the Viridian is really way off from the model, so I'm going to do center the model, and then move to ground, and hit OK. This places the Viridian at the bottom, makes the planes a bit more useful in my opinion. That's up to you how you work so let's have a look at this this is a very organic shape there are ways of converting uh, things in fusion but there's a problem let's open up and have a look at the body there are no warnings that's good you can have just open up the browser with the bodies if there's a yellow warning you need to fix the mesh there's something broken in this is not broken the problem is the amount of faces we do the properties and look at the mesh over here. It has close to 95,000 faces and Fusion basically starts crying when it went by more than 10,000 faces and can't do anything. Of course, we can reduce the mesh, but the problem with this, I try to do it, it basically craps out like this soft outer edge here, the fillet edge and a lot of other things. And we maybe want to keep uh, the curvature of outside because we have a handle for a bow and we don't want to destroy that nice shape the simple thing we want to move these holes two millimeter upwards that's not too much if it's a handle it should be around 100 120 millimeters in high so two millimeters here moving is basically nothing so this is how i would do it it's up to other people how they want to do things step one i want to get some geometry from this because i need to get the size i cannot do like measure on the mesh there's nothing to select here i'm just selecting points basically slightly random on the faces i don't want to do that i want to get the dimension of things so step one i want to somehow find the dimension of these two holes and it's i think it's best on this side there's a long portion here so we're going to do up to create and do create mesh section sketch. I'm gonna turn on the region, uh, the body, of course, the handle we have, the section plane. I'm gonna select this, and now I can drag this. You can see it creates a brown section here, and I want to have it somewhere where I can see the large hole, the dimension of that. So that's good. Simply okay. I don't care exactly where it is. Create create mesh section sketch. Once again, body. And once again, this plane and move it until I can see the small hole. You can see a vessel with arch one. You can see the brown lines. Let's zoom in a bit. And I want to find the small one. That's there. That's good. Hit OK. And of course, I also want to do know where these faces are. The base of this, um, we call it counter bores. Uh, so we're going to do one more. Create. Mesh checks can sketch this body. In this case, I'm going to do it on this plane here. And you can see the brown lines. And I move it out until I can see. You can see the holes here. I really don't care. The important is this vertical line on both sides. That's the depth of the parts. Gonna hit OK. And I'm gonna hide the body for now. So now we have three mesh section sketches, sketches with a lot of brown lines in it. So we're going to simply start by edit the first sketch I did, double click it, get in here and edit things. Uh, we have a mesh section sketch is here in a one step below in the browser. We don't care about that right now. What we're going to do now, we can't use these browse lines. They are of no use to us. We're going to create fit curves to mesh section and we're going to over here. So this is a round hole. So we're going to select circle, select the, what we have here, hit OK. And we can now open up and hide and see we have a little blue line here. Now to not by mistake move things around, I'm going to click on the circle, do right click out here and say fix on fix. Turns it into green, that means that I cannot by mistake start moving things around. If the lines are blue, you can by mistake uh, click on them with the mouse and things start to move around. I hit that. Let's do the second sketch, sketch two down here in the timeline. Double click for edit. 
wait for fusion to think for a while we can now hide the first sketch the eye is here for hiding create fit curves to mesh section circle again this circle here hit ok gonna finish sketch oh sorry i forgot one thing let's go back edit the sketch once again i'm gonna hide the mesh section now we can see it blue so i'm gonna mark it right click fix unfix i have window selection activator up here that's where i can pull the window finish sketch let fusion think do the third one here gonna hide the earlier sketches so i don't see them uh, so the thing you can see here this is loud of a counterbore uh, and there are two things i want to have from this create fit custom mesh section i'm going to do lines now basically anything i want where this line is and where this line is so somewhere here you can see it pops out because this is now a lot of short lines simply going to select two points like that going to hit ok hold our right button and repeat fit curves and once again line let's see if we can find a line where are you why don't you want to select the lines now let's do a create fit curves to mesh section sometimes it gets a bit annoying first point there you are. If Fusion gets confused, uh, console command or restart it. Sometimes when you work with meshes like this, it can be a bit crazy. I have kind of some severe problems finding the points. I don't really care trying to connect to the bottom here. I only care about the dimension in uh, the horizontal direction. Once again, create, fit curves to mesh section, still line. Let's find some points here. And find another point. There's another one. Hit OK. Fit curves to mesh section. And the last one is here. Hit OK. And I'm going to open up here and hide the mesh and see. So I have four lines and they line up with those edges there. That's good. I'm going to do a window selection. Right click and fix unfix. Finish sketch. Wait for Fusion to think a bit. Open up. Uh, I don't know why the mesh section sketching always turns on and off when you go out and in off uh, mesh section sketches. I don't know. Gonna turn on all our sketches here, hide the mesh section so I don't really only have what I need. Uh, the problem now is I can have the sketches here, but I like to move these two into the center plane. So I'm gonna go to the solid workspace or solid or surface, doesn't matter. We are always a place where you can do create sketch. Create, create it on this plane here. This plane is good because it's through the center of the body due to where I did the center and move to ground earlier. P on the keyboard and project in these two here. Hit OK. I will now hide the other sketches. So these two here is now, if we turn on the body, you can see this is lines up where the holes are right now. So I will do a window selection because I will not use these. These are only for reference and over to line type, turn them over to construction. That means they are no longer a profile. They're just here to help me. Now I will sketch the two new holes where I want them to have them. I'm going to do two circles. Circle, you select it up here, circle and another circle. Now what's the dimension of these? They are going to be equal because I know the outer here is going to be the same size as this. And this one is going to be the same size as this as this like that i'm going to do a short line going to immediately change line time to construction i'm going to do the line from here to here this is just to get things where i want them you can do the little green box here and get things checked escape to turn off a line command move it over i want it now is to be straight up so i'm going to tell fusion horizontal vertical constraint of this line uh, sorry it already popped in when i move i'm going to delete that one and show you if you slightly off to the side horizontal vertical constraint and select the line and the last thing of course is how much i want to move the holes we want to move in two millimeters d for dimension dimension this here and do it two millimeters you can see we have like the ghosted edges of where the holes are right now and these are going to be our new cutouts and hold now for the fun of it i have a dimension tool activate you can see next to the mouse cursor so deep i can select this and click out here and few can we say create driven dimension i do yes i can do this too and do yes we can see we get some strange numbers here if we want to know we could edit these i suspect this is supposed to be 30 millimeters but 12.99 is basically 13 
this is 16 6.19 so that's going to be 6.2 millimeters if you're going to 3d print this this little deviation will do nothing this can just be good to check if the dimensions are correct if you want to and we can measure the holes with a caliper or something we could uh, edit the dimension here remove the equal constraint and do the sketches by hand that's if you want to do change of dimensions that's another video I'm going to finish sketch uh, gonna turn on the third sketch that's the one where I had those green things over thickness of things so this is our mesh body turn it on again step one I want to do I want to fill up these two holes because uh, you're gonna we're gonna make a new hole here it's only two millimeters up and the dimension is for six so if we just do another cut here we're gonna get a small uh, slot hole here it's not good if we're gonna screw this down it will be sloppy and there's a possibility that we move up and down so step one I'm gonna hide once again I'm gonna create two blob bodies that can fill up uh, this hole here so we'll do here and the solid workspace solid extrude the blue one select both profiles and not start from profile plane start from object object can be top or bottom of this line it doesn't care because we extrude it in the horizontal direction so just click here distance to object select this object hit ok once again extrude because we need to uh, close both sides or slightly rotate the model uh from object from this object distance to object to this object hide the sketch for now so we can look at things turn on our mesh body so you can see we have made like two dots but we're gonna fill in the holes so we're gonna hide this for now move over to a mesh section we need now to make these from white solid bodies into mesh bodies when we have it under create tessellate select the two bodies and simply do ok and now you can see it turns into a mesh body turn on our first mesh body the original uh, now this is going to take some time we're going to have to modify here we have this combine tool if you can find it is down here combine uh, select our first body and our two tool bodies make sure operation is join uh, not keep tool no need to do a preview because uh, now the problem is I'm gonna hit ok and we can talk uh, because this uh, SDL body of a mesh body has uh, yeah close to 100,000 faces so fusion needs to do some thinking and this computer I'm working on right now is does not have that much memory that's why it takes uh, quite some time for this computer to do the calculations but anyway uh, this is part of uh, SDL editing if you don't want to reduce them to the bare minimum of faces that you need to do some waiting you can see the green bar down to the right and for you who doesn't like to simply look at a screen doing nothing or my boring voice I will try to put some timestamps down below so you can move forward and by that let's see if you can yeah it made it so we ha now have one single mesh body here did it fill up everything correctly yeah, it looks a bit strange to move around we can now for just for checking things we can do inspect so inspect and section analysis and I'm gonna select this plane here I like, like to do this just to look at things this basically slices the model straight over and we can move and have a look where are our holes coming have a look there we can see everything is covered by mesh looks good SDL files or meshes are just for outer perimeter there's basically no inside of it but just want to check that there's not too much uh, left over geometry within because that can crash fusion so console I don't need that mesh section uh, the colors we don't need to care about so that was step one we're going to hide the mesh body turn on our sketch two sketches that's the large one with the green marks here and these are our circular cutouts now I will create a cut tool go back to solid extrude do the center one here uh, now I don't will not use the green path for now I will simply do just do it symmetric so it does both directions and just extrude it out so it's like really beyond the body they are still body we can have a look here so like I want going to use this and cut away from the mesh so I just want to make it too big extrude once again now we only do this the counter bore part 
in this case it's going to do it from object and now it's supported it's not for inside it's going to be this one and goes to move it outwards I, the imp dimension is not important but just move it outwards hit ok extrude once again this here start from object check here we have our go to green lines here this is the outside one and just in this direction something like that we have one solid body we can have a look at our little uh, mesh here we can once again do an inspect section and let's also see, check that we are thinking correctly when doing things move this over here we should be able to see that we have this cut tool is not cutting all the way into the middle and it lines up with the earlier cut down here so it looks good We're going to do a console of that and step one or oh, back to mesh again create tessellate tessellate our solid body hit ok it's simple as cylinder so it's, it's a rapid tessellation uh, once again combine uh, first select the original then the tool because we want to cut with the tool an operation change to cut and hit ok and go and grab a coffee or something and do not touch the computer because fusion is going to go into dark mode what i like to call it uh, when fusion does this do not panic let fusion be there are a hundred thousand phases where fusion needs to do some calculations so if you're waiting for it normally fusion will come out of it the problem is I have my uh, screen capture software running at the same time so this might crash everything it's gonna be interesting wait for fusion wait for fusion this is a boring part with STL files if I don't understand why people doesn't want to share their uh, 3d files or their CAD files all the time but it would be really nice because people can do uh, edits and things of it let's see if fusion managed to get out of this dark mode i can still move a mouse so the computer hasn't totally hang up on me oh. come on give me the green faces the green bar of progress down here come on you can do it fusion there you are so sometimes we get that do not panic do not quit the software wait for it it doing all the preparation for doing the calculations i know it slightly panics people when you go into what i like to call the dark mode when everything turns black on the screen but now you see we have a little green progress bar down here and this is simply due to this having a lot of faces and my computer having not enough memory <laughs> so it's swapping to the hard drive right now I do not want to pick up my uh, hardware monitor right now because that will most probably crash my computer. The problem is, of course, that the out the, the tessellated body made here is cutting through all these faces here, and Fusion now trying to make something nice on this. Ah, we have done. Sorry for the waiting time. Uh, we can have a look at this. I'm gonna hide the sketches. Uh, there are some different colors due to that fusion are adding uh, face groups to things but what you can do now uh, we can see all the faces here uh, there are view options down here we can do in display settings the short way is control 4 hides everything and we can have a look what we will look like in a finished mesh mesh let's look good control 6 again to get uh, the mesh back we can for the fun of it do a section analyze just to have a look if the mesh is totally broken move it over to our little hole here and it looks nice we have no strange geometry you can see the hole coming and then fill up so this looks like a decent mesh i'm going to call some analysis and now simply we already have a mesh so few will not need to do that much recalculation we right click the mesh right click the mesh save as mesh uh free mf or stl what to do i'm going to do the free mf hit ok i already have it here so i'm going to reselect this test handle i did here save the file already exists yes please and we're gonna do i'm gonna kill this project for now and start up uh, prusa slicer so you can have a look at the file in prusa uh, i don't want to do any updates i do do plus select the file open and we have a file here 
so you can see so the problem with my workflow in this case is that it creates a slightly slot slotted hole on the outside here it doesn't fill up this there are ways to do that but that will take some immensely longer time but by doing this if you had saved the file which i didn't do you can go back and change the two millimeters to three or four or five or whatever we want to do so we, this will take some time but if you learn to do this we can go back and edit other files so that's how you can play around with an stl file and do some editing without the need to convert it hope this is useful for somebody take care see you around and goodbye